somebody sent me actually a, a great email. I'd never thought about this, but uh, it's actually a text message. This person says, a friend of mine heard the, quote, best wrestling match ever tagline and asked if this match was originally supposed to happen in Saudi Arabia. I never even thought of that, okay? But every time they go to Saudi Arabia, they've got to have something wacky. The greatest Royal Rumble. The biggest battle royal ever. Like it was, it was like every show has to have something where you've never seen something like this, but you're going to see it on this Saudi Arabia show for the Prince. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if this was originally going to be a match in Saudi Arabia. That was the hook for this, this Saudi Arabia show. The best wrestling match ever. But they're not going to Saudi Arabia, so we're getting it here on, on Backlash. But man, they doubled down. They doubled down on the show last night. Christian out there basically playing all of us, saying, dude, Edge, the greatest wrestling match ever. Like, you guys wouldn't have the greatest wrestling match ever in your prime. What are you doing going out there and setting the bar this high? He's like he's like yelling at him for, for saying that he's going to be in the best wrestling match ever. Then Edge gets mad about it. And then Christian gets mad at Edge for doubting himself. <laughs> I was like, what? Who wrote this segment? Then Randy Orton comes out, and he doubles down. It's going to be the greatest wrestling match of all time. All I know, all I know is that it's already been taped. I believe they went around 30, 35 minutes. So, like, if you if you were expecting an 18-minute match after they went 45 minutes to WrestleMania, think again. They try very hard to actually have the best wrestling match that they can but i don't know what the finish is i i I still believe that my prediction of the finish is going to be correct but i guess we'll find out i I just find it hard to believe they're going to do straight wrestling match with a clean finish at the end i i I find that hard to believe i i feel like either like randy's got to do something diabolical at the end because he's the one he even said he even said in a promo and this could mean nothing but he says i laid the bait and you bit okay He's a heel. He baited Edge. Like, right? Doesn't that mean that he's got some sort of plan here? Anyway, we'll find out what happens. But they're going to attempt to have at least, if nothing else, the best match on the show coming up on Sunday at Backlash. Can you imagine if Tommaso Ciampa comes out slapping his thigh and and, and he's the one? Uh, <laughs> that's how they introduce him to the main roster. I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I'm like you. I think that there is... Some sort of sleight of hand taking place here. And look, the greatest wrestling match of all time. They didn't say the greatest scientific encounter of all time. They they didn't say this is going to be uh, Dory Funk and Jack Briscoe. But the thing is, in Dory Funk and Jack Briscoe, uh, there was a chicanery that took place there. Granted, it was more for the times and it was more because of the type of heel that Dory Jr. was. But there was subtle hair pulling and all sorts of dirty tricks that he would use. And over the years, those dirty tricks, you know, went from person to person. And Ric Flair obviously had his own set and other guys have their sets of stuff. So, you know, the fact that we could see some things that are that usually take place in a wrestling match. I mean, I, that's the other thing about this is, too, that's kind of being framed as if this is going to be some great, pure, catches catch can style Flair Steamboat style of event. I mean, we could still see all sorts of things happen in this match uh, in their effort to make it, quote, the greatest wrestling match of all time. But I have no idea how it's going to end. I just think, you know, it, there is this looming shadow of there's got to be a catch, not just even because... I don't have any faith in them just doing a straight wrestling match, but also because I think they'll drag this out for longer, whether it be a third match between the two, whether we see a reunion somehow later on of rated RKO. I I don't know, but I just think that there's going to be a lot more to this story, and this is nothing but a chapter. At least that's what it feels like to me. Hey, let me let me make two comments here because our our Twitch homies are are talking about all of this, obviously. Twitch.tv slash F4W video. So two things. Number one, I was given the impression that the match was 30 to 35 minutes. Now, it was taped. And there was a reason that they taped it, uh, I believe last Sunday, for airing the following Sunday. And that is, they want this match to be perfect, at least until whatever they do for the finish. So, however long they wrestled, I mean, 
if they if they watch the match and they feel like uh, it's dragging here, you know, Orton's eighth headlock, you know, too much, blah blah blah. They can they can chop the match down. I don't know how long the match is going to be when they're done. I'm just telling you how long it appears that they went when they went live. They could edit this down to to 25 minutes. They could edit it down to 18 minutes, or it may be the full 35 minutes. So I'm only telling you what I was told in terms of the actual length of the match that they did live. What they do with it from there, I have no idea. The other thing everybody's talking about for some reason is uh, this deal with with Ciampa and Randy Orton, okay? Randy Orton made a tweet on Sunday, and he was talking about how much thigh slapping there was on the NXT show. And then Ciampa fired back and said, my daughter couldn't sleep. I showed her one of your matches. And then Randy Orton fired back. And, you know, Dave talked about this for 15 minutes last night. And Ugh. here's here's what I know today, everyone. This was not done to set up a match. This was both guys... I'm sure, you know, they may have, you know, DM'd each other and said, hey, I'm going to say this and whatever. I mean, but nothing was done with the idea that Randy Orton and Tommaso Ciampa are going to have a match or that Ciampa's going up to the main roster. I'm not saying he's not going to the main roster, but all of this was just like these two guys did something and now everybody's talking about it. And the impression I was them. given <laughs> was that Vince was not happy with this because for those of you that don't know, let me just tell you something very quickly about Vince. There are rules, and then there's Vince, okay? Vince hates it when guys or women or whatever do something that teases a match that he's not going to do. He hates that. 